Welcome to TRS Clips, India's fastest learning portal. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell icon. You're a physicist. Yes. What does a physicist do? Because I'm going to ask you a lot of science fiction, black hole, time travel, cosmology questions. But in the modern day, what do physicists do? So physics is about uh, trying to discover the actual nature of reality. Okay. So we have a universe out there and we don't really know how it works. We don't know what it is made of. We have some idea, but there's a lot of missing pieces. Mm. So that's essentially what physicists try to uncover. What mm. is the real nature of reality, mm. right? So that's essentially what it is. For example, uh, we see a very big universe out there. We have telescopes and other instruments. We see stars, galaxies, planets, dust clouds, gas clouds, all that. Now, the, the interesting thing is that whatever we see is less than 5% of the actual universe. Wow. So our eyes and our instruments, they allow us to see only 5% of the universe. 95% of the universe is invisible. It's mm. dark. It's missing. And we don't have the faintest clue about what that is. But when you say it's dark, what do you mean? Which means that it is not visible to our, our eyes and our instruments. But we can perceive this missing mass by the gravitational interaction it has with the, the mass that we can see. So every object in the world, including this cup I'm holding, including this building has its own gravity. It pulls Absolutely. objects towards it. That's just how physics works. Yes. So physicists have realized, okay, there's something massive out there that has its own gravity, which we can feel, which our instruments can measure, but they're not advanced enough to actually see what that mass is. That's right. Yes. So is when, um, you know, you say that it's not visible, is it because it's too far away? Is It's not too far away. It's not too far away. It's actually near us. So there are two kinds of invisible matter. Okay. Uh, one is called dark matter, which is about 25% of the content of the universe. And one is called dark energy, which is even more mysterious. We don't even know if it's a particle or if it's some kind of property of space time. So this dark matter that I just spoke about, it's everywhere. I think it's passing through us right now. But it doesn't interact with us because mm. it is a very weakly interacting substance. Maybe it's a form of exotic particles that interacts only gravitationally. So for example, normal atoms of matter, they interact gravitationally. They interact via the electromagnetic force as well. And that's why they're visible. Mm. So light is an electromagnetic wave, right? It has the various frequencies and that's what we interpret as colors. Mm. Now these dark matter particles, they don't interact via the electromagnetic interaction at all. Got That's it. why even though they are there, we can't see them. Let me just give an easy analogy for some of the listeners. So would it be like how humans can see seven colors, Vibgyor, we can Vibgyor. see the rainbow. Possibly there are other animals that can see colors beyond the Vibgyor spectrum. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, like some animals can see ultraviolet rays, some animals can see infrared. Yes. In the same way, you're saying that there is some substance around us which even science is not able to perceive right now. Yes. Uh, which is probably beyond human perception, but we're trying to figure out what that is. We're trying why, to figure out. Why it's there? Is, why it's there? Yeah, that's a big question. I mean, why is the universe the way it is? So that's a very big mystery. And that's what we have been trying to seek for from time immemorial, right? Mm. So that is the, the big uh, quest in mm. science and physics and all of that. So modern day physicists, they're mainly concerned about dark matter and dark energy? Well, physics has a lot of fields. There are fields like uh, condensed matter physics. There's fields like uh, all kinds of fields, right? Can, can you explain some with like modern day applications of them? So for example, quantum mechanics, quantum physics, which is a very uh, popular subject, in, even in popular uh, discussions and all that. So the applications of quantum physics are everywhere around us today. This thing works on quantum physics or laptops, cell phones, washing machines, computers, satellites, uh, nuclear reactors, everything. All this technology was developed using the principles of quantum mechanics. So these were applied in, in uh, the form of engineering, essentially. And that's how we, we have been able to progress. So essentially, the entirety of the progress that we made in the 20th century and after that as well has been built on the top of applications of quantum mechanics. Okay. Okay. So we understand quantum mechanics. We we can use the principles and the laws of quantum mechanics to, to build stuff. Got but it. the funny thing is that we don't understand how it works. Mm. We don't understand why it is the way it is. Mm. We don't understand what the equations are telling us. And that's why we have all these different interpretations of quantum mechanics. So it has a practical aspect. It is a very successful theory, but it is one that no one understands. Okay. But... Uh... Again, what what are some of the other domains? Like one, one's quantum mechanics, one study about dark matter, dark energy. And we'll break down all of these in this podcast. 
what else is out there that people that modern day physicists or the top physicists are researching about so for for example wave particle physics nuclear okay. physics nuclear okay. physics we know the applications nuclear energy nuclear mm -hmm. weapons mm -hmm. particle physics is about understanding the nature of the fundamental particles of the universe like uh, we have every atom is made up of protons neutrons electrons protons are consist uh, they consist of quark quarks yeah. there are six kinds of quarks and then there are particles that mediate the forces and all that so that is particle physics we have uh, large machines called accelerators you must have heard of the large hadron collider in geneva yeah so that's one of the instruments we use to probe deeper into the nature of reality by smashing particles together and seeing what comes out Got it. so recently the most uh, interesting success that we had was the discovery of the higgs boson hmm. which was the last missing piece of this standard model of physics Got it. so basically so, if if you keep breaking down an atom proton neutron electron then you break down those pieces further yes, and the yes. more we understand those tinier pieces the better we understand physics therefore the better we understand the universe therefore we'll figure out some applications of that science eventually there will be applications sometimes okay. the applications take a long time to discover okay. sometimes it's faster but eventually there are applications for all of that gotcha